What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Screen 5 and talking about a little bit more about Kirby Reed and the box office dominance that the film continues to have even though it's been in the second place for i think two weeks in a row now but it's continuing to dominate at the box office so jumping on into kirby reed so matt and tyler we know we got the confirmation in screen five that kirby reed was indeed alive through an easter egg on a computer screen that richie was using while he was watching stab clips of I guess how the series went off the rails you're looking at a dead meat clip actually about stab eight so we know she's alive but matt and tyler recently had a ask me anything over on the horror subreddit where they were asked getting asked questions about screen five and answering questions of course one of the questions asked was if the kirby easter egg was always planned or when did it become solidified and whose idea was to include her to a degree and would you utilize her more in the future if able so they responded with that they had always wanted to include her in some way from very early on in the process and they spoke with Hayden but we didn't want to shoehorn Corby into the movie so we kept looking for a place to put her in and they go on talking about a deleted scene of where we could have gotten like I guess I'm going to start talking about what this could have meant in terms of what Kirby has been through since her survival has now been confirmed. So in a deleted scene at the sheriff's station and this could be going back to where Judy is in the room with Amber tara sam and richie at the hospital saying that she was at the station questioning amber and her friends when the attacks happened so in that scene i guess there was going to be a kirby missing poster behind jasmine and mikey's characters while they were being questioned by J judy hicks at the station but then the youtube easter egg materialized as soon as we began designing the youtube page uh so you know thinking about that missing missing person poster of kirby seeing that in a deleted scene if that's included on what gets released soon for the home media release i think what that tells us is that kirby who again we know now survived was struggling to cope with you know this boy she was finally going to give a chance to charlie com being complete trash not only was he trash to you said said boy was also working with someone you thought to be a close friend a best friend in jill roberts who was the cousin of the girl who you claim to be the reason you love horror movies sydney prescott so you know she's dealing with all of that af after surviving that the loss of her best friend the loss of a boy she was fin finally ready to give a chance to because she knew for many years that he had an interest in her and they both stabbed her in the back pretty badly almost killed her so she's trying to process all that she runs away from home which would lead me to believe that's why there is a poster like that hanging up on a bulletin somewhere for kirby reed missing because she ran away from home after the events of screen four not being able to go back to school and being able to go forward with her life she was dealing with a lot of stuff similar to how i'll make a comparison to any of you who have seen seen the fallout with Jenna Ortega, who does an amazing job in that movie as well, just like she did in Screen 5. Similar to how we see that character suffer to move forward with their life after the events that transpired at the beginning of the film in the fallout. That's what I'm thinking happened with Kirby. And that would be the only justification I would think, in my mind, logically, for a Kirby Reed missing poster to be up in a deleted scene at the sheriff's station. She ran away from home because she couldn't deal with the knowledge of this boy she was again romantically interested in being a killer along with her best friend jill roberts and, and she lost both of them they're both dead and she lost so many other friends or people that were associates to her in school and you know she's someone who loves horror movies but who knows maybe that event kind of made her want to be shut away from horror movies uh hopefully when we see her reintroduced in scream six she's had she has a newfound love and respect for the genre once again because i want to see her have some scenes with mindy and uh just how they can play off of each other so well the two the two randy characters who i think are much better than randy interacting with each other in a scene is a must-have for me when it comes to scream six if hayden again is wanting to return like she expressed interest in returning for screen five so knowing that that is a deleted scene but the missing poster aspect of it just has me thinking that they could still use that is like a narrative for what Kirby has been through since the events of Scream 4. At one point, she ran away from home because she wasn't able to deal with it. At one point, she gave up on horror movies because, again, she wasn't able to deal with all that trauma that she just went through and that she's suffering from still. 
Uh, so it'd be nice to see her and Sydney, of course, have some type of connection if they have any scenes together in Scream 6. Maybe even learn that her and Sydney did keep up in contact with each other at some point after Kirby left high school and went off to college. I would like to have some type of little tidbits about a relationship between Kirby and Sydney in some way. Just anything small. They don't have to be the closest of friends or anything. But the box office for Scream 5 continues to be massive they have surpassed the 100 million mark box office mojo finally updated and it shows that the movie has grossed over 106 million dollars worldwide i believe uh over 66 million domestically and i think over 44 million internationally i think what pushed it to that brink this weekend was it brought in another 4 million internationally and another 7 million domestically when it was currently resting at that 90 million mark or a little over 90 million so it's grossed over 106 million worldwide now so there's no doubt in my mind that we'll get that scream 6 announcement at some point so for any of you who were concerned about me not having any new updates coming or anything like that you know it's not official yet but it's at some point you'll start seeing constant scream 6 videos from me i'm certain that we'll get that announcement soon of scream 6 happening they're probably gonna have it out by october of next year i would hope to for that if they start filming it sometime later this summer they could even shoot to have it out earlier in next year kind of give us a scream 2 treatment if you will but i'm certain scream 6 will come we'll get we hopefully we'll get to have some some new clarifications on more about the carpenters and their mother and her relationship with billy loomis and maybe even see sydney interact with this woman uh just a lot of stuff that i hope we can get developed and hopefully portrayed in scream six now that we had so many juicy details that unfolded with the events of this fifth movie that surprised me in many ways even though you know i think a lot of us kind of figured out certain things before we saw the movie there were still some surprises in the film overall in terms of the fact that they went ahead and let chad live i was certain chad was going to be a goner while i was watching that movie i thought chad surviving was probably the most most shocking thing when i was watching that movie honestly but i'm glad that we got the twins living i can't wait to see what they bring to the table in scream six i can't wait to see this sisterly bond between sam and tara develop even further and i just can't wait to go back to the town of woodsboro or just the world of scream in general and see where they take us next with this phenomenal franchise but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video